Hey guys, welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge in The Sims 3. This is episode number 34, and today we are starting the process of raising the third generation of Grimm's. Willow here, our third matriarch of the challenge, had her first baby last episode. What are you doing? Play computer games. Um, look, I appreciate the thoughts, but how about instead invite Yasmin over? Let's see if she'll come over. Need to get Willow pregnant again as soon as possible because it took quite a few days to get her pregnant last time. So we really need to keep going and continue having babies. Okay, she doesn't want to come over. Who's this? Does Forrest want to come over? Oh, I forgot that Xavier is a werewolf too. So that's something that we're gonna have to be aware of. Okay, so Forrest is coming over. I don't really know who that is. Where did she meet this guy? I don't know. I guess we're gonna try to have babies with him now though. Hmm. I'm wondering. No particular reason, but are you seeing anybody? He's single. Okay, let's move in. Let's just throw you know, a couple little flirts in every now and then. We don't want to go too hard. We don't want him to leave. We need this to work out. He's the Repo Man! You have the Repo Man's babies? He came and took our painting, that's how she knows him. I forgot that the Repo Man came last episode too. I don't know, this is kind of awkward, but at the same time, they're getting along really well. It's so cute seeing Willow with her first baby. Oh, we sold some stuff. Got some money from our inventions. Good job, Willow. Definitely need the money so that the Repo Man does not come back next time we have bills. Especially if we have babies with him now. I don't know if this makes things more or less awkward. Everyone else is at work though, so it's either get to know this guy or wait until later. He likes her though. And now we can ask him to stay over, just in case Willow passes out. Thanks for inviting me over. I'm glad you want to stay over. Things are starting to get a little steamy. Oh, first kiss, first kiss. Yes. Okay. I'll just keep flirting. Romantic interest. Ooh, we are getting close. Ooh. It's dangerous to come into the Grimm household for any reason. Even if it's to repo stuff. It end up being part of the challenge. There they go. <gasps> I accidentally fast forwarded through it. But there we go. She's pregnant again. Noah is now an elder. I feel like everything in this challenge is just happening way too fast. Can't believe we're already on the third generation. I can't believe Jade's gone. We're gonna be at this for a while. Okay, then put Xavier to sleep. And then um, you're gonna have to ask Forrest to just be friends. See, like she's still thinking about the repossession. There's no way things could work out between them. Okay, Forrest, whatever. You can go home now. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel kind of bad. Hey, well, now that you're pregnant, it is a great time for you to fix the dishwasher. Okay, she's gonna eat some cake and then you can fix the dishwasher, please. You need to go home now, bye. Okay, bye Forrest. See you at the hospital in a few days. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? The winter festival is here. That's great. Oh, we have bills to pay. Can I actually afford them this time though, so Willow's gonna make a quick floor hygienator. Why don't you try chatting with Yasmin? Oh, she's at work. Okay. Maybe we should start upgrading the appliances to be self-cleaning. Especially now that we don't have the super cheap ones. So it's actually probably worth it. Oh, we sold some more stuff. Look at her. It's so cute. Okay, put Xavier in his crib. Grab some leftovers. See if Yasmin wants to chat. And then go to sleep. Willow's pregnant! Congratulations, Willow. Okay, why don't you use that real quick and then go back to sleep. Okay, Willow, eat some leftovers. I wonder if there's anybody new on dating websites. It really doesn't help that she's related to half the town. I gotta say though, Jade had some pretty good looking kids compared to the rest of the town. Why don't you do some inventing? 
Maybe she can make something good. The harvester. Wait, what does that do? Oh, it literally harvests harvestables. That's great, Willow. You wanna try and invent something new? We buy a stroller, then we can take Xavier out and we can walk over to the consignment store over there, right across the street and sell some stuff. How are we doing, Willow? Oh, you're using a lot of scrap. Are you making anything good? The improved floating duck. Okay, then after you're done taking a shower, or after you're done taking a bath, just make a couple more harvesters. This thing takes a long time to make. Ow. Oh, she's almost done. There it is. And then take care of Xavier and then go to sleep. It's Xavier's birthday. Willow has just improved her handiness skill to level six. She is so technically proficient that she can now make objects unbreakable. I always forget how much work babies are. Baby's coming. Go to the hospital. It's baby number 25. That means that after this one, we are officially a quarter of the way into the challenge. Congratulations on a new baby boy. He has been born with the nerd and athletic traits. Okay. Why? You know, let's go with York. That's an interesting name. Wait, what? It said he was athletic and nerd. He can't be nerd, though. Should I just make him genius, then? We'll, we'll just do that, I guess. This is actually adorable. I didn't know I could do this before. Look at little York just sitting there all nice. A little cutie. It's Xavier's birthday! Seriously? He's aging up while Willow is coming home. She's missing his birthday. Happy birthday, Xavier. Practice hunting. Werewolf. Howl at the moon. It's a full moon. Okay, I have to I have to have him howl at the moon. I wanna see. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. There's just so much to this game and the expansions and I'm missing out on all of it because I'm spending all this time just having babies. That's okay. You know, cute little Xavier is. Oh, I think that's the perfect hair for him. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, there's Xavier. Willow's first baby. First werewolf of the challenge. Now I have to put a toddler room together. Put both of these cribs in here. Toys. Put the toddler potty in there. Not that we ever use it at all, but maybe. <laughs> at least try, right? Xavier, why don't you just go, go play? Go do something. And we just have two floors now, so they can age up in willow's room and then just crawl their way over to the toddler room maybe i should swap these two rooms make the toddler room closer to willow's room oh, let's see if yasmin out. is interested in coming over she's at work right now i guess we just have to keep inviting yasmin over until she can come over oh we have bills again okay Okay, so we need to just sell these. Oh. Uh, okay. She got a promotion, so we got an extra 500 simoleons. Landon is now an elder. We can pay the bills now, though, so... Work needs some attention. He's also a little hungry. Join business career. I don't think so, Willow. Detonate? You want to detonate the TV? No! Not blowing up the TV. Let's see if Yasmin wants to come over yet. If she's still at work. I don't know when the store closes. Did she invite her over or did she forget? I was paying attention. I think she forgot. Okay, that's fine. Eat first and then invite her over. The store should definitely be closed by then. 
no. Call Yasmin and then fix it. She doesn't feel like coming over. Oh no. Why not? Okay, just chat with her for a bit then, I guess. Oh, just improved her handiness. Level 7. Why did she put York in that crib? No, take him back in your room. Need to be able to wake up if he wakes up in the middle of the night. Okay, and then put Xavier in this crib. Willow? What are you doing? You can't just put him on the floor because he woke you up in the middle of the night. She's like, oh, what are you doing on the floor? Clearly she's still pretty new at this. Get up and change York's dirty diaper and then Xavier is hungry. So you might as well just feed him. She's probably at work, but let's see if Yasmin wants to talk right now. And let's also check out profiles. See if there's anybody interesting or really just anybody new. Ooh, Brenna. Brenna is new. Let's send a message to Brenna. Let's see who else we got. Did we talked to Bradford before? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Send him a message too. Okay, and then keep working on your invention here. Oh, wait, actually, you're right. York does need some things. Don't fall on him. Use that. And then you should probably just like sleep for a little bit. And then chat with Yasmin. Everybody else that she knows is a sibling. <gasps> it's Yasmin! Wait, no, come in! Come inside! What are you doing? Don't leave. No! Invite her over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Fantastic. Okay. She better come over. I'm going to be very upset if she lied. It was just here though. Why wouldn't she come back? Oh, is that her? Okay, put York in the crib. Put him down. She's here. Okay, Willow. Gotta do this right. They are friends. Which is helpful. Uh, ask about her day. Let's start things off, you know, a little casually here. And then just go right into the flirting. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay over? Okay. Now let's go in on the flirting. She seems to be into it. First kiss. Yes. <laughs> Seth is an adult. Ooh, Yasmin is a great kisser. Just do a little bit more flirting. Okay, now try for baby with Yasmin. That was too easy. Is Willow gonna have a fairy baby too right away? That would be really funny. Okay, I will give you two some privacy. <gasps> oh, okay. Yay! Willow's third pregnancy. Okay, yeah, just go to sleep. That's fine. Okay, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.